I never thought that I would die. I never actually thought about being injured. I thought, tomorrow, we are going to be the headlines of the newspaper. I was convinced at age 14 that I wanted to become a commercial airline pilot. I don't know, there was something about power and control and adventure, travel. And once I took my first flight as a pilot, I, I was hooked. When I looked down and saw the world from the air, I had this feeling of freedom. And I thought, gosh, I can take this airplane someday and fly anywhere I want to go. I felt like I belonged in the air. This is where I'm going to spend my entire vocational life. And I did as a flight instructor, airline pilot instructor, standards captain, aviation safety counselor, FAA designated examiner in jet aircraft. I would give check rides and airline transport pilot certificate exams. I just enjoyed it. I just loved it. At age 19, got a volunteer part-time job as a co-pilot and was able to fly with this guy named Chuck. It was uh, July 18th, 1969. I got on the freeway and drove to the Hollywood Burbank Airport. It was a perfectly clear morning. I got to the Piper Navajo, a twin engine, 10 seat aircraft, and was looking forward to just another typical, beautiful day of flying. Chuck and Gene, the relative of the chief pilot, got to the airplane and Chuck said, okay, Dale, now Gene is gonna be flying left seat today. That's the first time that had happened. And then I would be riding in the right seat as co-pilot. We did another engine run up. There was nothing wrong with the airplane. We started up, started taxiing out. Chuck noticed that there was uh, something not exactly right. Chuck tapped me on the shoulder, I shall never forget it. And he motioned for me to uh, uh, change positions with him. So I got out of the co-pilot seat, he got in, I strapped myself down into the temporary third seat. Gene in the left seat is flying, but Chuck in the right seat is in control. We were then cleared for takeoff. We were about 100 feet above the runway, and yet we weren't climbing. So the, the nose of the aircraft is pitched up, but we're not going up. And the engines are straining at full power. And then for some strange reason, I began to hear this unfamiliar uh, whine of the engines that they were out of sync. Well, with that huge, uh, loud sound of the engines being in disharmony, now my worst fears uh, became realized when Chuck, the guy in command in the right seat, points with his left hand and said, let's land in that clear area over there. The thought came to my mind that we were going to crash. We clipped the tops of some tall trees. It turned the airplane to the left and that forced our direction to slam into this very solid uh, concrete and tile dome. It's called the Portal of the Folded Wings. It's ironically erected in memory of deceased pilots. It's seven stories tall, and we impacted it five feet from the top. The official impact speed was recorded by the NTSB at 135 miles per hour. It was considered non-survivable.